you just saw is this animated head that I recently built. It's uh, built out of, um, I think, two by eights. It looks like there's five of them up here. I just glued them together and uh, did a little crude wood carving. I'm, I'm not really a wood carver, but uh, I, I got the, the basic shape of the face done, and I, I did the nose as a separate piece and, and glued it on. Uh, behind the eyes, uh, you may have noticed there are uh, three color LEDs. They're red, green, and blue. I'm not sure what the color... I think the color shows up a little funny on the camera. But um, I built this thing over a period of about two months. Um, it's all scrap. It's all done on the fly. I didn't try to draw any plans because I did, had no, no idea what I wanted or how I was going to do it, really. So uh, let's, let's take a look at what's involved here. And I'll lower the camera a bit so you can see down under. A little hard to see in there. Let's see if this helps any. I'll zoom in a bit too. The whole thing starts with a, uh, a small 120 volt AC motor that rotates at 3 RPM. It's over here on the on the right. It's only a couple inches in diameter and about one inch thick. But uh, it's just filled with gears, I think just plastic gears, and so it doesn't have a whole lot of real torque to it. But it, it spins this, uh, let's call it the camshaft. Uh, the camshaft consists of a 7 8 inch dowel that runs the length, and it goes into this piece here, which is a, a bearing. The bearing is lined with uh, white polyethylene, so it's, it's slick. So there's not much friction. I had to I had to keep friction down in here or the thing wasn't wanting to work. So we got the dial that runs the length of this, which rotates through here. And upon that dial are things like this. You can see the it's got the hole and it's got a key in it. Well there's a there's a strip of wood that sticks out of the top of that dial, so all these pieces are keyed on there, which keeps everything in place. Let's hit it again. So you can see there's two things going on in the dead center there. And they kind of have to move in tandem due to a, a little bit of a problem in, in my design. Uh, the one on the left, this metal one, moves the ears. The one on the right opens and closes the mouth. Now since the one on the left actuates a brass rod. Let's see if you can see this. There's a brass rod right that, that the screwdriver is hitting. Oh, let's get it up there. there it is. It goes inside of a big dowel that's for the mouth. So the ears, the ears brass rod is inside the dowel for the mouth, so they're, they're sort of a, a coaxial configuration, and so I really can't lift this one without lifting that one too. So that's that's a that's a design flaw on my part. I, I built this with the idea that I wanted to make uh, some some things like this that are that are far uh, more intricate and, and smaller, you know, less less ridiculous. So this is mostly just a learning experience for me. Uh, there's a ball bearing here, which rides on this cam, which helps keep the friction down. It's a little uh, uh, piece of aluminum and uh, polyethylene plastic, like the same plastic that's in this bushing over here. So it, it keeps it riding on there. Uh, this one, I have a little piece of polyethylene on the bottom here, and um, you know, it, it has to turn like this and so I couldn't use a, a bearing so it just it just rubs on this cap to move it up and down the head rotates on a on a lazy susan there's a lazy susan up here it's like three inches in diameter uh, if you don't know what that is uh, ask somebody named susan I'm sure she'll know and that turns the head based on these little brass pins 
but you get these brass pins. It's interesting. The, uh, the, the, the eyes are actually lighting at the moment. What you can hear clicking are these micro switches. Now, this second, third, and fourth micro switch down on the bottom, they control the eyes and they are actuated. You can see one here, right here. See this, this groove that comes out? So there's, there's, there's one on the other side of this. There's one on the other side of this. So there's three LEDs, three micro switches which control them. This micro switch, micro switch on the far left um, stops the motor when it reaches its uh, one revolution and then you start it again by hitting the button. So if you listen, you can hear the clicking of the micro switches. And it will soon shut off. Right there. Let's look around on this side. We have some uh, electrical stuff. Pretty simple. If I can show you this without getting too badly shocked. And we have uh, AC coming in going through this uh, breaker uh, on off switch. And some of it gets converted into 12 volts which runs this relay and which runs the LED uh, eyeballs. So th this, this provides the power for the, for the lights, for the LEDs, this, and provides the power that operates the relay and the relay um, is involved with having the motor just rotate one, one rotation and then it, then it um, based on the, the micro switch on the far left, it stops the motor and the relay waits for you to hit this button on the top here, which I guess you can't see. Oh, let's turn it back around. And give you the big, big view of it again. This isn't meant to teach anybody how to build something like this because for one thing it's just a mess and you know for another thing I, it, it, I built it all on the fly I didn't know what I was going to do from one day to the next so it's mainly just a proof of concept and uh, to give you ideas if, if you should someday want to do something really stupid like this uh, the wood in here is Baltic birch plywood which is a, a just about the, the world's nicest wood to work with it doesn't doesn't warp, doesn't do anything bad. It's it's plenty hard. It's just real nice to deal with. But it's kind of hard to find. The the rest of this this Baltic birch here. The rest of this is just various forms of craft. This is uh, the exterior siding. It's a piece of pine. It's a piece of oak. Whatever. And we got some plywood on the front here. Uh, one more thing. Let's turn this around real quick. And on, on the back of the head, we this thing's got a hole in its head. I mean, you know, it's a it's stupid. It's got a hole in its head. So let's turn this up a little bit. You can see where the, the wires come out, the, the, the go to the LEDs that create the light behind the eyes. And you can see here one of the ears, how that works. Uh, let me see if I can sort of trigger this inside. You see the ears? Uh, there's remember there's a brass rod down down right in the center of this moving up and down and that motion has to be converted into a left right motion for the ears and there's a little circuit board up in here that I put uh, the uh, uh, current dropping voltage dropping resistors in there for the for the LEDs and then they run down in this little mesh so there you have it thank you very much